All right, guys, me and Speed Creek 570 are going to be doing a headlight and taillight wrap install. It's all from Lux. Uh, it's the what, Type 3? Type 3. Type 3 headlight and taillight. It's um, a dark smoke stealth finish for the uh, rear taillight. And that'll pretty much that'll cover everything that you see in here. And then for the headlights, we went with, he decided to go with a... Um, same finish, but it's going to be a mid. Yeah, uh, same finish, just a mid, um, like, as in, like, like darkness-wise. That way we can still see at night. But that'll, we got to pre-cut them, right? We got to uh, cut No, them. the headlights are already uh, pre-cut. Uh, it's going to fit up to the, the headlight here. And then it comes all the way pre-cut back to here. And then it's extra wrapped, so then we can make sure... We get it covered and stretched where we need it to and tucked in the corners here where it starts to get, you know, a lot of that, um, all those body lines in there, all the lines. And you can feel there's like a bubble here. Yep. Uh, it's just so we can stretch and wrap it okay. around that bubble easier. All right, cool. So, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be doing that install tonight. And then um, can I show them what we got here on the floor? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, let me talk about this. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing Friday is we're gonna be heading down to Tristan's house here, I mean his brother's house, and we're going to be installing this bad boy. Um, if you've checked out on my channel, which if you wanna see the unboxing of this stuff, go over there and check that out, uh, Speed Freak 570. Um, love to have the extra views and subs. But anyway, um, we unboxed all this and I did a little more in-depth talking about it, but we're going to be going through on Friday and we're going to be installing the Moral Attack cat back with the active simulator, with the active exhaust simulator. So basically if you look inside, it's not actually an active exhaust, but we can hook up the, um, what we'll do is we'll hook up the solenoids on the underside of the car so it kind of trips and triggers the sensor and to think it is still have an active exhaust so then it doesn't throw any weird codes or anything and then the big part is oh yeah we're gonna be throwing these tanks on there too they are one seven eighths inch into a three inch collector long tube header from stainless works and i am so absolutely stoked kind of bummed that we didn't get to go with my original but i didn't want to wait a month and a half for the exhaust so um that's the reason why we went with stainless works instead of the cooks like i was originally going to um so we're both channels are going to have some insane content coming up as far as install videos on this beautiful exhaust system and then also with the vinyl wraps which we we're going to be doing tonight yep all right guys that'll wrap up the intro um we're gonna go as you can tell i mean i'm pretty sure you can see it on the camera the car is disgustingly dirty it's just that time of the year in central pa so we're gonna go wash the car down and then we'll be back and we'll pick up when we start actually wrapping the car down all right guys see you later
All right, guys, so the car just got a bath. We're heading back to the house now. All right guys, we're back to the house. We're going over, we're drying the tail lights and stuff off. Uh, then we're gonna jump up and dry the headlight off. We're gonna do the tail lights first, I believe, right Cody? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start with the tail lights and work our way up the car. Side markers are already done. They were done from the previous owner. I mean, you can see that, so. He got the honeycomb, actually. Did he really? Yep. It's all the honeycomb. Oh, whatever. I think it looks pretty cool too. Either way, I'm sure you'll have leftover if you want to go over them. So, but all right, guys, we'll pick back up after the car's dried off here and we actually start uh, doing some wrap. As we're getting ready to wrap, we cut these out for each side. We didn't do the middle section yet because it's just a gigantic piece of leftover vinyl that we need to fill in. What are the dimensions on that? Uh, so on the back, like I said, on the website, they have a little um, template for wet for, you know, the gutting guide guidelines for the rear section here. Um, so basically, these ones are 5x10. Um, you can see we'll get nice coverage over the tail light there. So what we're going to do is what you want to do is they give you a little green squeegee microfiber cloth on this prep spray here. Um, basically it's just diluted water and like rubbing alcohol to clean it up and get all the grime and crap off of it. Um, so you want to spray that on there, wipe it off, dry it off, and I also took the corner of the squeegee and I put it down in the cracks here just to make sure that uh, it's all clean because you are going to be tucking the vinyl in there for the end work. The end product make it look clean and crisp so that's what i did that's what i recommend doing so we're going to get ready here and we're going to lay some vinyl and we'll be back in a minute just to see what it looks like all right so what we're doing here is i took the backer off and what we're going to do is we're just going to try to line it up flush to the center and we just want to get it right in the middle and oh, let me pull it back a little bit we just want to get it right in the middle and start pressing it down i actually don't like that i want that up a little higher just want to get it in the middle start working it down from the middle easier to start in the middle and then work to the recessed areas here As you can see, just want to make sure it stays flat and flush. Get any fingers, just pull it back up. I think it's going to look really cool when it's done. Sorry, I'm not doing much talking. I'm just trying to concentrate here. But yeah, just it does lift very easily. I'm not even using a squeegee right now. You can apply this with just your finger. You just want to make sure you get it completely laid in that and all those recess areas first. about 
100% applied here to the whole flat section here. So as you can see, we got everything on that flat section, that flat part there. Looks really good so far. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this up. You can see we got that really big, oh crud. Got that really big wrinkle. Now we've got some wrinkles back up in here. But this is going to be the trickier part.
that's a little bit. what the finished product there looks like what we're going to do now is we're going to trim put well we're going to tuck all this and then we're going to trim this part and then this part we're going to fold down in to the trunk lid pop the trunk fold it into the trunk lid and then trim it from there just so it's a nice clean adhesion on the um taillight side of things but I don't think it looks too bad um, just want to do that install we'll do an install we'll do the actual filming of the install for the center section and then we're just going to do the other section just fly through it real quick um, and then we'll show you how to do the headlights in another video so hang with it we'll show you the finished product after we get it trimmed up here and go from there all right guys, so we finally finished up the first tail light. It didn't take too long, but all the trimming is done and it looks really, really good. Um, just a couple little blemishes up here, but that's okay because it's on the underside of the light. Just it did, the blade hung up a little bit and caused a little bit of a wrinkle and a little bit of a odd cut line, but that's okay because you can't see it at all. It looks really good. Final wrap. Uh, and just for reference, this is Lux Automotive Concept brand, um, and the color is, this is the Type 3, there's Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. Um, the Type 3 is a, is a full vinyl wrap, covers the whole light, and this is the dark, there's a light, mid, and a dark, this is the dark smoke stealth finish and I think it looks absolutely awesome so we're gonna hop over and do the other tail light now um, we're not gonna get that part on camera but then we'll show you the monster which is the center section and it's gonna be a little bit of a pain but it won't be I don't think it'll be too terrible I think we'll be able to take care of it so stay tuned and we'll show you finished product here within the moments hey guys so I'm walking away because he's doing his own little vlog right now just to start the back of it. Um, we started the back of the car. I'm gonna walk over and just like start. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna walk in on it here. I'll show you what we're gonna do with that here in just a moment. So we're gonna try to work this out the best we can and we'll show you a finished product. I'm not gonna show the whole install process here just because it's gonna take a real long time to get it perfect in the way I want. I mean, not a real long time, but no one wants watching lay vinyl for 15 minutes on one panel. All right, guys, so we're not going to film the whole thing like he just said. I don't know if you could hear the whole time, but um, it's going to take so long to just lay it out perfect. And nobody really just wants to watch that straight the whole way through. Um, the dimensions for this were 30 long by 5 tall on the back, you know, like the pre-cut squares and stuff. Um, so... I'll come back over, I'll jump in here where he is, and I will uh, just show a little bit of the process, and then I'm going to jump out. That way I have space for the headlights and stuff. It is not going to be fun. It's very, very long and very, very precise to try and get it to be perfect. And then we'll be jumping up here to these bad boys. And uh, one of these days here real soon, I want to come out with Cody and go for a little drive and just talk about the car, you know, go over everything, you know, go over all this before we do it because tomorrow's Thursday, so it'll be done. <laughs> We're getting to it here pretty soon. And then um, that'll be it. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to finish up. I'm going to help him out, see what I can do here. That way I'm not just a sitting duck. It's coming out pretty good so far. All right, guys, catch you later. All right, everybody, we are all done, cut, trimmed, ready to rock. We did run into one little small problem. Overheated, we overstretched a little bit and it wrinkled real bad. So that right there is the worst spot. But other than that, 
I think it came out real nice. So, you know, I don't you I don't mess with vinyl wraps too much. So, um I didn't really expect to get perfection and doing it myself. I can't be too mad about it. So, you know, it is what it is, but um can't, can't argue with it. I mean, it looks really good as it is, except for that one little blemish right there. Um, I love it. So anyway, that right there is the taillight portion of this. Uh, we are going to do the headlights in another video. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Bring the content to you and work on my car. All right, guys. So stuff. like he said, don't forget that a wrap that this up. up. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing that'll wrap up the taillights we're going to be doing the uh, headlights in another video in a different portion I don't know if we're doing that tonight but either way the video will be up I'm going to post this tonight so you'll see it and then um, we'll go from there guys alright have a good one peace out